Kenny, the season ends so abruptly each and every year, but I mean, how difficult is this one sitting with you now, you know, two days later, allowing that one to process? Oh, mm, I think we're just still trying to process uh, what's going on. Honestly, just having a chance to win the AFC South uh, and then have another game at Lucas Oil would have been great. So, um, crazy way to end the season. I feel like it's always harder when you on that cusp of, you know, what you think in the season could, you know, be and, and turn into. Um, I feel like it definitely hit harder this year, you know, just because um, the team that we have, you know, all the adversity that we faced and all the naysayers early in the year you know, to come back and, and to play really well throughout the entire year. Um, you know, maybe not perfect at times, but uh, to still control your own destiny and then kind of end the way it did. You got to give out to the Texans, you know what I'm saying? They, they handled their business, you know, um, the tail end of the season, and um, they were able to be, you know, they became the uh, AFC South champs. But I am proud of this team, the way that we did continue to fight to the, to the end. Ultimately, we didn't get the, you know, the, the end goal that we wanted, but uh, I am proud of the way that we that we did fought this year. A lot of people wrote us off, and uh, uh, we're going to come back even better next year. It was an exciting year in general, you know, probably more success than people imagined us having. You know, I think it speaks volumes of this team, like how everyone came together. Obviously, like we had some adversity, you know, people getting hurt. Obviously, I was one of those people, too, and, you know, you know, People stepped up, you know, made a good run. Obviously disappointing how it ended, but you know, I feel like this was a great year for us to really build off of, and I think we're gonna continue to build off it. You know, we have a strong foundation in place, and there's a lot to look forward to. The great thing was after the game, I didn't see a lot of guys having their heads down. So from that standpoint, you could just see the fight uh, and the belief these guys have. Um, and, you know, next year, you know, this team be able to do a lot of great things. And we're a really young team. Um, so I know we got a lot to build on, and this is just the beginning. Oh, it's big. You know, it lights a fire underneath you. Uh, like you said, it's, it's been tough these last couple of days, but just having this momentum and uh, just let that fire just build on for us for the 2024 season. Uh, so, yeah, we got a lot of good things to look forward to, you know, getting that yard back. Uh, got a lot of young guys who stepped up this year, so having them back next year. And uh, just continue to keep putting it on the, on the, on the tape, so uh, just looking forward to it. It was nice playing for Coach Shane, uh, real players coach. Um, came here, set the tone early, and he took a team that went four and twelve last year. Um, it took us nine and eight. Um, we should have won that game. So, uh, but yeah, it, it was it was nice playing for coach. I'm excited to keep playing for him. Um, it was his first year and my first year. So uh, let's just keep building. First year head coach, I like, came in here. And, um, I think he changed the energy of this place. I think everybody was really excited when Shane came in. Uh, and I think the other thing that he really preaches on is togetherness. And I think, man, this team, like offense, defense, special teams, everybody felt that, you know, from how it is in the locker room to how we practice to the games. Like, uh, it's really cool to be a part of a team um, that's so close. And I think that won us games this year. He really helped change the, the mindset, the culture, you know what I mean, around around the, the team. You know, the guys bought into everything that he was you know, preaching in the beginning of the season, uh, beginning, you know, when he first came out there in OTAs, and um, it showed, you know, throughout the season. Like I said, like I talked about before, all the the adversity and obstacles that we, we had to overcome, you know, if you know if it wasn't for a coach like Shane to, you know, for the guys to believe in, uh, you know, I, I don't think we were able to, you know, do some of the things we did this season. We always had the grit to win, but Shane um, brought in another way for it to be done. So uh, all respects to Shane and everything that he has going. Um, I'm glad that he's our head coach, and uh, next year um, I, I'm confident that that we'll get the job done. You know, when Shane got here, the you know the level of commitment that he wanted from each player, execution-wise, um, but he also hired staffs that believed in their players. You know, what I mean, the, uh, Tony, um, you know, you're not going to find a guy in here who's not going to you know run through a wall for that guy because uh, he believes in us as players. And he believes that he wants the best out of us and. You know, so it pushes us to be the best players that we can be. You can see it with Shane and Tony on the sidelines. Like, you know, they're very animated, you know, very involved in the game. And I feel like that really definitely translated to us as players onto the field. You know, just bringing the energy, you know, makes playing football exciting, just having that energy from those guys. I think when you get a coach like that and you've got a room that's recommitted um, to being the best, proving people wrong, that we're not the players they thought that we were, um, I think you're going to get some get something out of that, and it was ultimately you know everybody in that room who you know, committed to being the best they could this this year, um, and, and just playing well. Yeah, I just feel, feel like you know when we got everyone healthy, like I don't feel like there's anyone that can really stop us in the run game. So, 
definitely, you know, get guys healthy. But, I mean, it's just like an attitude thing going up there, you know, whoever the more physical team is is going to win and be able to dominate up front. And I think that's something we took pride in this year and we can definitely continue to build on going forward. Um, like you said, just to be able to break that receptions record. Um, when I when I see Marvin Harrison's kind of graphic on that, I was like, dang, I'm like, he's a great. So um, it was truly a blessing with that. But um, yeah, whole year learning experience. Um, I feel like uh, next year will be a big jump for me. Um, just from what I've experienced in college as well. My first year to second year is a huge jump. Um, so I'm excited about that. Your your partnership with, with Buck, like you guys playing together, how special has that been for you guys? That's a special bond between me and him, man. Uh, like playing beside him made me better. Uh, I'm, making, I'm making him better and like, I think that's a bond that can never be broken. You know, everybody who comes across Grove, you know, I mean, you know, loves Grove. You know what I mean? The, not just the player, but the person that he is. And, um, I'm, you know, I feel like uh, that's definitely going to be one of the big, big time guys that we need to get back here. And uh, I feel like uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to get it done. Uh, how much are you looking forward to having the opportunity to be with AR next year? A uh, big opportunity. Um, even when he was hurt, I was getting closer to him just as like a, a brother type vibe. So um, I'm just telling him we waiting on him. Uh, that's what I was telling him. Even before the game, I was like, next year, I'm like, this going to be us here. And I'm like, we got a lot more just to look forward to. And he was like, I'm looking forward to it. So um, telling him to stay on his rehab this offseason. And as soon as he can throw, I'm trying to get on that field with him.